What you doing, sir? Hi, I'm playing with this knife. It's sharp. Hey, 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 that, hey, that 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 was just a piece of paper a little while ago when I trying yeah, to get my I know it is. trying to get my phone out and you're doing a, some serious cut test on that, huh? <laughs> well, it just it's fun. This is a. Uh, Hold on, let me what get a little. Steel is A E B L, and that's heat treated to uh, 60 Rockwell. Yeah, we did a uh, single a single side hollow grind chisel. Now, now, what side is that? Or I should say, uh, it's the left side. And why is it on the left side? Because in tactical knives, left is right, or left is correct. Um, it's uh, a 20 degree angle. Let's take a look at the knife now. It's a 20 degree angle on on the single side. Mm -hmm. Which means that it's uh, wicked scary, stupid sharp. <laughs> and uh, these are curly maple, bird's eye maple handles. Me Excuse me, with a uh, chromic trioxide finish stain with mosaic pins. Nice. And get a little closer on those pins. A little close to a mirror polish on the blade. You want to flip it for me, sir? Red spacers. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Right there. I'm getting focused. There it is. There it is. And flat back. Turn it just a little bit. Boom. Boom. What was the name of that stuff on the, uh, that the made that, yeah, that made that maple just, just Gorgeous. Chromic trioxide. It's an oxidizing type uh, stain. Stain's really not the right word. Can you roll it to the spine, sir? What was the uh, what was the uh, thickness of that spacer? I don't remember. Fifteen thousandths. Thank you, sir. Ten, ten thousandths. Ten. Sorry, I lied. Ten thousandths. Ten thousandths. There you go. Oh, and let's check out that little false edge that we have up here. I have a little teeny false edge I, going I, there. I said. I, Sir, we got to have a false edge on a knife, right? I called it a swedge, didn't I? Yes, you did call it a swedge. And, and, and what happened? This happened, huh? This happened. You, you didn't say how big. <laughs> so, if you're wondering, sir, which I'm sure all of YouTube is, who, who built that knife today? Well, you did. Oh, well, that's not true now, is it? I was standing here watching you the whole, whole time. I made it. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> so, uh... Because because when I when I said sir this is the last AEBL uh, hybrid and I, and hybrid said, tanto and I said let me see that I said this is the last hybrid tanto that I have what'd you say I said let me see that yeah you gotta have you you had to you had to make sure the last one was the best one didn't you sir well you're probably gonna keep this one aren't you I don't know sir <laughs> <laughs> I may sell it <laughs> you slut yeah I know. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> nice knife. Yeah. Let's take a look one more time, sir. Hold it up. And it, it's Last just, time. it feels absolutely Double perfect side. in your hand. Correct, sir? It does. I don't even like this little knife, and I like it. Let's see Let's see that, uh, the ergonomics that you did on the handle. What so, ergonomics? The, uh, yeah, show, the, show the hourglass off. Yeah, show the, there you go. Can you? Yep, yeah, there you go. See the nice... Nice taper there, it swells in, it comes back down. Very, very nice, sir. Contour. You say contour, I say yeah, ergonomics. ergonomics. Yeah. You know, gun guys like myself, converted knife guys, we're, we're uh, all about ergonomics. Yeah. Fantastic job, sir. Thank you. What else did we do? We got a bunch of stuff done today, we, didn't we? We, we uh, well, and yesterday, yesterday we heat treated knives, today we tempered them. And, uh,. Did some playing around. That one we we this uh, is a, uh, 440C knife that we finished tempering today. That is now at what uh, for the um, around Rockwell 57, 58 is yep. where we like to go on 440C. That thing is just awesome, huh, sir? I like it. I like it a lot. Flat ground with a crease. We like to have a crease in it, you know. We did that one. That was the flat grind because I got you on my machine, didn't That's I, sir? Flat grind on your machine, yes. How awesome was that, sir? That was just awesome. Hold on, I'm going to pause it and we'll get the other knives out real quick. Hold on. Okay. Be right back. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, you think we're ready, sir? We're ready. 
I outsmarted myself. I thought I had it. I had thought I had all the stuff in that box, but it was in that box because that box is big enough to hold all the awesomeness we did. Correct, sir? Yes. What's this one? This one. This was for my friend Fenway. What's up, Fenway? Bang. What'd you do, sir? 440C. Um, we modified the tip profile on this one, and mm -hmm. it's got uh, G10 scales. And what we decided to do was bead blast the whole thing. Because he's military, and we need to absolutely have non-reflective uh, correction. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't want it to uh, reflect on the top of the. Now, tool. now, when we say modified the tip, we made it just a little bit stronger. We, uh, yeah, we uh, shortened the tip down because it was pretty thin out there at the uh, at the end. It's yeah. still it's still thin, but you know, beefed up a better. little bit for him uh, yeah, because it's, it's hard to tell. We got a small swedge on on that. I can't believe it. You, you, you totally wasted my awesome swedge, sir, and made it all minuscule. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> dim demure. Diminutive. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah. Linguist. Uh, anyway. Yes, sir. Uh, Let's talk about it. It, it turned out to be a pretty cool knife. You like the little, how it's a classical design like you've been asking yeah. me to do, but I still put my fighting style into it, negative angle uh, for the blade, so it still has right. uh, an increased cut in performance. Right. Also, if he if he yeah. does use it for like food prep or you know uh, daily tasks, you know it obviously it'll aid in, in right. cutting yes. performance wise that way also. Yeah, and you know leaving the uh, leaving the end bare without the handle was cool. He I could like use that. that as a pry bar if he has to. You can. Well, I yeah. think more you could hit something with it. <laughs> Maybe use that instead of sticking the tip in something. Yeah. <laughs> what else do we got, sir? What else did we do? Uh, you did this big. Yeah. Ass knife. That's yeah. A B, yeah, that's for my friend Playboy. What's up, Playboy? Nice knife. Um, turn that, turn it side. There we go. Got to get. It's hard to get it in the film here. This is. <laughs> get it up to your chest. See what it is. Across. Ah, yeah, that's that's a. Put it across. That's a big ass knife. You like that, sir? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's fine if you make it. Uh, I don't like making big. This is big ass knives. This is um, edge quenched. Edge quench, 5160. No, 50, 52, 100, sir. 52, 100, I'm sorry. That so that's, it's, uh, we yeah. brought that, we got it. You kind of see the temper line where we hit here. Yes, sir. Um, that, that's our quench line. Um, we're, we're probably, yeah, you know, Rockwell 60 on the edge and uh, 42, 45 on the back, if that. Um, and ready for the final grind. And the the, the temper, the temper goes all the way past. Yeah, you can actually well, you can't really see the line, but yeah, it just carries straight across here. So, but we're really not concerned about tempering on the tang of a knife because who cares? I'm going to probably have the tang exposed for this gentleman because I know he loves being outdoors. Uh, he loves everything tactical, so mm -hmm. he can use it as a outdoor chopper, but he can also implement right. it in. Yeah, uh, it's a weight forward knife, uh, so it it you know it'll it'll uh, gain momentum when you swing it and, and carry be, a little more power. That's that one. And uh, also whack off a zombie's head if it needs to, sir. Yes, uh, this you, is. You uh, did, I know you dislike that. <laughs> two one. I thought that was for the zombie to carry. No, no, sir. No, no, sir. Uh -huh. no, yes, sir. This is 52-100 edge quenched again. This is, this is for my friend Cave Alaska 1. He, uh, he's had this on order for too many months, sir. Okay, so. get it done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so that's... Uh, Once again, a little bit a little bit more traditional knife for, for more of a bushcrafting, but also right. still with my negative angle. So it increased if he has to in, use an improv. Nothing uh, to negativity. Yeah. No, come on now. This is not, oh, by the way. By the way? I didn't let him take out the awesome swedge, did I, yeah, sir? Yeah, that swedge is awesome. It is. I, I love it. Okay, so this was the secret knife that you're this not is allowed a secret. to show anybody? So, this is a secret. That, so no. here's the handle. <laughs> I because had, you're not allowed to show, right? Uh, well, hey, no, one, no one in YouTube knows of it yet. There's only one person other than myself who knows about it. Guess who that is, sir? I, uh... Me. That's right. Uh, this is uh, 52100 edge quenched. Yes, sir. And it's uh, now I'm going to do the minimum uh, um, of the um, post heat treat. Um, Struggling for words. Yes, sir. Yeah. In the oven. 
tempering. I'm going to do the minimum tempering so it stays the highest rock. Well, well I'm sorry, the tempering's already done, son. Oh, oh, we did that this morning. Oh, we did. Catch up. Catch up. Yeah, I, we I did, did this at 300 degrees to, uh, to maintain the high rock well on the on the hardened part. Uh, sir, you're awesome. Yeah, I'm so sorry, I didn't have a coffee in me at that yeah, time. No, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's talk about it. Okay, it's a great knife. You just have to believe what's under the hand because it's a secret. Oh, well, okay. And this this uh, is not going to be shown until it's done. Is that correct? Uh, no, we're not show it right now. No, you, you you showed the top part of the back of the blade when when I was quenching it, right? Yeah, I don't know if I put that. I'll put it in front of the uh, yeah. of the. Uh, Can we do it that way? Please look at that. Like that. No, nah, sir. Let's show it off. Oh, you do the right. unveiling. You're, you're weak. I am. I, well, I'm, what, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like a, I'm a swedgeaholic, and yeah. check this swedge out because it's not actually a swedge right now, is it, sir? No, that's, it's a, it's a live edge. That's a live edge right now. So if I sell this to someone who does not have the capability of having a live edge, I'm gonna have to come back and knock that off a little bit, correct, sir? Yeah, you could blunt that down just a bit. Okay. Massachusetts being one of those states. Yeah, New York, California. Yeah. California. Um, probably some other. Probably some others. Yeah. But I'll let that, it, so you can see the edge you quench perfectly on that, yeah. right? Yeah, and this is going to be about 60 Rockwell with 44 spine? Yeah, somewhere in that same range as, as the other uh, 52 100 knives. They all went in together, came out together. And this is going to be a hardened hook also, sir, right across? Yeah, yeah the temper, temper line goes right across the end of the How the awesome hook. is that, sir? Yeah. You know, you know where I where did I get inspired to do that knife from? Uh, it wasn't Chuck Norris. No, it wasn't from reading books or anything. I watched too much uh, of the uh, marathon of uh, Walking Dead in a row, and then I just went down and I actually grabbed a piece of fifty two one hundred and I free ground it. And you said, "I want to kill a zombie." I just, man, I'm telling you, I want to. I don't know what happened. It just and came out like and that, you, and, and you went all silly on it with a recurve horn cliff with a with a sharpened back edge. Hey, no. So my thought process is that you can strike down and then have your your snap back. The snap. And what do you think? Your your back your back cut or snap cut from? Sure. It would be a reverse I, snap well, cut, I, correct, sir? I don't know. That's your snap cut when you snap down. I so the you, reverse snap cut would become. Hmm, terminology's not in, nice. not important. I really don't try and tell people how to use them. <laughs> Uh, sir, you make me laugh. <laughs> hey, sir, you, you know how the Aloha, you know all that, right? How it's Hello Ankabai? I'm going to start a new thing called you? SOL. SOL. It's it's Smile Out Loud, cause, <laughs> or it's or it's the other SOL. No. Yeah, the Out of Luck one. Oh, jeez. Anyway, let's go. Hey, uh, sir, the other thing I, I want to, we got some other stuff here real quick. We do. Yeah, what you, this is... This is a uh, 52100 on top. This is my very, very sentimental um, design. This is the Stormhawk. What do you think about this design, sir? What did I think about it? Yeah, your honest opinion. This is what I want. It's crazy. <laughs> you think it's a cuckoo design, huh? Well, sure, yeah. It, it probably works for what it's meant to do. Yeah, it's a defensive. Right? It's a solely yeah. defensive blade. Right. You know. Uh, I mean, you can. This, this whole thing of, you know. Do you like that? I like that. Yeah. Nice heavy piece of steel. Very. Quarter inch, fifty two one hundred. Yep. And that's edge quench again. Um, I did the temper on that one though. Right. Um, and it, again, it was minuscule. I think we did two fifty two cycles of of an hour. Right. Yep. Um, that one's down. Unless you want to talk about it more. No, no. Okay. Next one. That Next one's one. that one's pretty much ready for, by the way, handles. Yes. Uh, I'm just waiting for uh, an order to come in and then handles and sheath. That one is ATS 34, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to remind me about the heat treat and, and uh, Rockwell and tempering. 60 to 61. Um, heat treated at 1,900 degrees. Uh, tempered at 950 twice for an hour each time. So it's about 60 Rockwell? About sir? 60 is the target. You know, you, you get a range, 59 to 61 is, yes, sir. is where, you're, where you're shooting for. And that's ATS 34 also. Yep. Uh, I had a customer for that one uh, that I took too long. Uh, so that one's going to be going up for sale on Gear Bash, and I believe, sir. Um, it, you know, obviously I had uh, family uh, obligations that came first and foremost. But what do you think about the big nasty swedge on that little Warner Cliff? Well, that's uh, 
you know, just as extreme as you are. <laughs> Look at the size of the sweat. Hold on. I know it's a bad camera here. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay. Bad camera. Bad camera. Look at that. I can't wait to finish this one up, sir. What do you think? You like I that like, one? I like it, yeah. That one's going to be uh, more of an EDC and slash utility uh, blade. Obviously, it's a much smaller one than I'm right. used to, yep. you know. Neck knife. I'll probably uh, use yeah. it as a as inside the pocket holster system. Yeah. Yep. We'll show you the wood I'm talking about in a minute. What do you think about that one? Another uh, that's a ATS34 again. Yep, same heat treat. That was my last, I believe, my last ATS34 piece, by the way. Right. Yeah, the uh, same you know, heat treat. ATS34 is great. The uh, the one shortcoming that it would have compared to a 52100 is that it has to be hardened all the way through. Yes, sir. Um, so it doesn't find itself uh, uh, lend itself to large long bladed knives because of that uh, but in this size knife it's perfect and you like that blade shape yeah and you, you just yeah so long as you make it <laughs> I don't, I don't want to make that knife you know you, because of the handle or because of the blade because I thought it was pretty pretty traditional even though I threw the well, recurve you, you, into yeah, it other than the recurve okay in there. I mean you know that's yeah. yeah how do you think I did on my preliminary grind sir great good thank you great now well, we'll, we'll just see how you do on your second Secondary uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Better get it all done by hand. And this is the 440C. Um, not the last 440C. I got a couple, two or three more pieces of 440C. But this is my uh, hybrid Tonto. It's, it's going to be a hybrid of a Persian style spine with a Japanese style uh, cutting edge Tonto. What do you think, sir? You like that design? I do. I do. That's I a love nice it. one. I love it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm could still. Got a undecided. nice feel, choke up, reverse grip, you know, feels good, thumb over, kind of cool. Awesome, sir. Last thing I want to talk about, sir, and of course those are all heat treated, right? All yep. I have to do is actually spend some time grinding now. And about putting. a 50, uh, 57 on the uh, 440C, that's, that's about the max you care to go with 440C. And that one we tempered at... Uh, it's the same thing. Keep it keep it as high as Rockwell as possible. No, no, no. We did not. No, I forget then. No, we tempered this one at 400 degrees to pull it down to that 57. Oh, okay, range. I'm sorry, sir. Just just because of the edge chipping problem that 440C has, if you put it out at 59 or 60. Okay, yes, sir. So, but uh, okay. Okay. The last thing I want to talk about, sir, is, is yellow spacer. <coughs> Right? <laughs> no, sir. No. I mean, we can talk about it if you want to, but well, this—I won't say that. Go ahead. <laughs> Go what ahead. are you talking about? The uh, the uh, the oh contest blades. Not that. Not that one. We already talked about that one. This is. These are the two two blades. The first one that well the, that one the is one? no no. You can do the first one. Whatever. Which one do you want to do first? I'll do both. Okay. The the N six ninety. What do you think about the N six ninety blade? Uh, that is my most traditional blade that I've done to date. That you've ever done? I think ever. E ever, yes. It's a ever. shame that you've not done more of these well, traditional blades. But it's a it's a nice knife. I don't know much about the steel myself. Um, but I like the pattern. Very comfortable. Nice field knife. I know you think about combat all the time. But, you know, it goes upside down really comfortable. Yes, sir. Which is essential in my book for a, for a hunting knife. Uh, because when you field dress something like a deer, you're cutting edge up for most of the time. Most of the time, uh, got a nice feel to it, enough handle that you got good control over the short blade. Come out with a finger over. Yes, sir. That's a, another prerequisite of mine for a field knife is to uh, be able to cover the tip with your finger yes, without sir. cutting your, the rest of your fingers on the blade. It looks good. Feels good. That's a sixty. Holes in the handle. Yep, that's a sixty yeah. Rockwell. Yeah. What do you think about my my holes in the handle? I don't know. Oh, it works as a rangefinder. That's good. <laughs> yeah. They're great. All right, sir. You got me giggling. What do you think about my pocket my pocket sheath design? Oh, those are cool. You kind of like those my, are really cool. Which one's which? The, the uh, brown with the uh, brown uh, N six ninety. Yeah. And yeah, uh, you know, I got that reversed kind of design, so you don't have to have anything else other than the pocket. Yeah, to carry it. Yeah, in. you showed yeah. me how you cut your pocket. No, oh, you know, well, with the old with one. With the old one, but no. this is revamped, so it, it doesn't cut your pocket open, <laughs> which like, is a good thing. Yes, sir. Now this is uh, this is actually going to a new friend of mine. Um, just won this. This was my one year 
um, quarter million views in 2000 subscriber, oh, my one year knife making anniversary, mm -hmm. uh, quarter million views on YouTube with 2000 plus subscribers giveaway. And the person that won this um, is absolutely excellent. He's going to do his first video as an unboxing of this knife. Cool. Well, now, what do you think of it? So this is the uh, AEBL, the second to the last <laughs> second uh, hybrid to the last. Tonto. I like it. It looks it looks good. It's the same as the other one, except for the end got uh, <laughs> shortened a bit, which is not a not a detractor. I, th I think it you know it allows you a variation in your grip. Yes, sir. And, uh, um, you know, I I absolutely detest this thin steel. Yes, sir. You know that's what you got, and uh, it, it makes a sharp knife. It does. I think you, you were you impressed with the uh, with the uh, the sharpness I got out of this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very sharp. Then you like the ergonomics on my my handle design? No, but uh, that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> Thank you for being honest, sir. Yeah, I like the ergonomics of my handle. <laughs> yes, sir. It's, it's opposite. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. A, I'm gonna try to. Mine's like. To. Everyone, everyone wants to. Uh, everyone wants you to start putting your knives up on for sale so they can get their their shot of buying them. Oh, all my knives are for sale. Well, Always. they want them so that they can get their hands on them. We got to get you on Gear Bastion, sir. Gear Bastion. Yes, sir. All right. So before we keep going, what do you think? Everything. We have an awesome couple days together. We did. We did. We had a great time. I I've uh, got. Bought me lunch. Oh. Bought me iced coffees. I mean, oh. Jeez, it's it's cheap money for the amount of education that I bought, sir. Uh, I'm not kidding. We we learned a ton of stuff this these couple of days, huh? Yeah, learned you how to uh, buff. Oh, buff. buff steel. Steel. They got the uh, a couple valuable need to know, which they don't need to know, sir. They don't. Secrets. No, it's secrets. Secret stuff. Priority. You know, I I show them all the videos, but you yelled at me saying every time I try to turn the camera on, going, "This is a secret. This is a secret. Don't put it on YouTube." No. Yeah. <laughs> secret. yeah. All right, sir. Thank yeah, you very you much. You want to know the biggest secret? What's that? Super blue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sir, thank you very much for an awesome couple of days. I really appreciate it. For now, sir, absolutely. You want to say it? Out. Out. Thank you so much.